neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess yes, that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Thy love we have done, and thy love we have done We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are so sorry.
She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid for her household when it snows, for all her household are clothed in crimson. She makes her self-coverings, her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the city gates, taking his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. She supplies the merchant with sashes. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household, and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her happy. Her husband, too, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a share in the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the city gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us say together the song of Mary found on page three in your service bulletin. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his closest servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and then the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of the servant of Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it will be forever. Amen.
reading from the book of Mark. <clears throat> Jesus and his disciples had passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, Son of, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days later, after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and they were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Standing, let us sing together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but let the will of us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Responsibly, let us go suffrage aid. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, to all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your safety and health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts of God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Grant us, O oh Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Responsibly, the prayer for the people. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. And that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. Remembering especially Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, 
Pope Francis of the Roman Church, Michael, our presiding bishop, the bishops and ministers of the Episcopal Church and the Anglican community, Phoebe, our bishop, and Father Terry, our priest. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your words and sacraments. Remember especially Joe, our president, Bill, our governor, and all mayors of Shelby County and the surrounding area. We pray for all who govern and hold the authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Remembering especially Peggy, Bob, Joey, Larry, John Henry, Bill. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. But that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. That the light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. And may we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray, pray for grace in Paris. We pray for the West Tennessee Haiti Partnership Mission. We pray for the Village Mission in Liberia, Africa. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for peace among all nations. We pray for peace of our own nation. We pray for the protection and comfort of all those who serve this country in foreign and domestic lands, especially Trevor Holly, Rachel Miller, and Jacob Stevens. We pray for Christians that are being persecuted throughout the world. The altar flowers are given to the glory of God by the Mullins family in honor of Shannon's parents' wedding anniversary. Let us pray for all members of our parish family celebrating a birthday, especially Amy Buffalino and Craig Clemenson. Let us pray for all members of our parish family celebrating an anniversary this week. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time, one accord, to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through our well beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also
pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us. 